Hello, my sumo peeps. Well, I've been asked a couple of times now um, if I had a tutorial on doing the frames that I guess I've been doing lately. Um, and I guess I'll go ahead and make one because they're pretty easy to do. And uh, of course there's a bazillion different styles, but I'll just play and show you one. And uh, um, you can expound and, on that and do your own thing. So let's get started. First, new image. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a second layer, and I'm going to go ahead and speed this up because I'm going to make an image in which I want to frame. So you guys just hold your horses and watch it, I'll speed it up for you. Okay, so here's the final image. I'm not 100% happy with it, but I think it's okay. I, I can't complain about it. So um, let's go ahead and build a frame for it. And you're gonna think I'm weird, but first I'll do one of those, I forget what the correct word for them is, but one of those tri-frames. Um, we'll do one of those. And first I start with a layer of black. And this is why it's so easy. I take my rectangle selection tool and let's go ahead and make a selection somewhere oh in the middle like that and of course you could be very uh, dedicated and make this real even i am just going to do by eye and so it's probably gonna be all messed up so then we do edit cut and let's go ahead and do another one let's start this one a little bit lower I'll try to bring it to the bottom here it and cut and let's try to do another one about the same height and this is where I wish I was more exacting but I'm really not so it'll just have to be a little off and edit and cut so there we have it select and deselect and let's say we approve of this frame let's go ahead and right click on that layer and select pixels Let's run a gradient over that layer. I think a gold gradient would look good, so we'll choose gold. And we'll also choose the second, what do they call this? Uh, linear reflected gradient. Start from about center point and pull out like 
like that until you get something that looks like that. And select, deselect. So there we have kind of a frame that looks, you know, has a gradient and it looks a little three-dimensional on its own. But let's go ahead and add another layer. Or I'm sorry, duplicate, oops, backtrack. Duplicate this layer by right-clicking and a duplicate layer. Let's take that layer and filters, stylize, dithered, emboss. You can see that sort of gives it a metallic look. I want to shrink down those dots though. And this is something you can play with. You can choose lines, waves. There's other things you can do here. I kind of like this. It took me a long time to discover it, but uh, there we are. Choose OK. And let's go ahead and play with the blend modes. Darken, multiply. Multiply looks kind of cool. Linear burn, me. Overlay. No, it really looks okay. Hard light. I think I like hard light the best. And let's take that layer and filter, stylize, and boss. Just to give it a little extra texture there. Turn it down a notch. Okay. And let's go ahead and play with the opacity. Bring that down a bit. And... Oop, don't like that at all. Oh, somehow I pushed the wrong button. Go back. I think that looks okay. I wonder what happens if I choose lighten. And you can see this is why, because I never really 100% plan these things, so these tutorials always go on forever. Let's go back to hard light. And let's take our opacity down a little bit more. Let's, God, I keep doing that. Let's go ahead and say we like that. Let's merge that layer down. And layer, layer effects, bevel. Go ahead and play with the bevel, see how we like that. And like that. It's kind of good. I <laughs> keep doing that. I don't know what I keep pushing, but something keeps happening. Um, let's say we like that. Let's duplicate that layer. Switch that duplicated layer down below. Let's darken it. And since our light seems to be coming from the right side and over to the left, let's go ahead and pull our bottom just down a little bit. Oh, I lightened it. Even saturation, darken, yes. It doesn't have to darken all the way, but just to give it a little extra depth. Okay, let's merge that down. And layer, layer effects, drop shadow. And again, we want to arrange our drop shadow so that it's going in the same direction. So it should be over that way. And then we'll blur it up a bit by moving this up so it just gives it a little softness. And there we have our try whatever they call it frame. We can also, if we want, filters, stylize, emboss it a bit. dang it. <laughs> filters, stylize, emboss it a bit more just to see if we like that. I'm not crazy about it. Eh, I guess it's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. Cancel. And let's go ahead and merge that down into the picture. Why? Because we are going to shrink this picture a bit, and we're going to add another little frame around it. Hold our shift key as we're bringing it down so it stays the same dimensions, or not the same dimensions, but the same orientation. And let's take the layer beneath it, and we're going to run another gradient. This time we will do silver. And this time we will run it this way, just to give it a little extra oomph. Okay, let's take that layer, right click, free transform, and holding our shift key, we'll bring that down a bit too. You can see where that is. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger than that. Yeah, it looks kind of interesting. Now, let's take our bottom layer and let's go ahead and use that gold gradient again.
it out. That's pretty good. And filters, noise. Add a little bit of noise to that layer just so that it gives it a little bit more of a rustic look. And I kind of like this silver gradient, but I want, um, I want it to have a metal look. So I'm going to go filters, stylize, and boss. And I'm really going to turn it up here so that I get a little bit of a, let's go ahead and switch that rotation. Here we go, now we're getting kind of a metal look. And let's go ahead and merge that down. Now this layer, I want to give a little bit less color to your hue and saturation. Let's just bump down our saturation a bit. Just so the picture, the picture really stands out more. Although, you know, I kind of like that. So let's go ahead and leave that about like that. Let's add a shadow to our framed picture layer. Layer, layer effects, drop shadow. And as you can see here, the light is going this way. Because it's dark here and dark here. So we're going to, I think we'll be fine with the way the drop shadow is now. So we'll take it down a bit, blur it up a bit. And there you have it, an embossed oh, goldish metal frame-ish sort of thingy on a chrome frame. And uh, it looks like a framed piece of art that we bought somewhere. <laughs> you can also, if you want, um, filters on this uh, wall layer, emboss that too if you wanted to add a little bit of sort of a, a textured wall effect. And that looks pretty good too. So there you have it. That's one way. Obviously, there's a million ways you can do this. Um, and the picture I did over the Taiga, which somebody asked about, I used a, uh, I, I basically selected my frame and then drew with the pencil all over it and then do it to the triangular pattern, thinned it out and used that to emboss the frame. Which if you look in my tutorials under making 3D images, I think is what I called it, um, you can find out how to do that. So this is just one way. I hope you like it and um, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.